I, I know, Mommy, that I said that I'd be home at 10 o'clock after the dance, but Johnny was t bringing me home, and uh, we got a flat tire, and then I we had to wait until 3 o'clock in the morning for the service station man to come out and fix the tire for us, Mommy. Or I wouldn't be doing anything else. What, what would you think uh, that I'd be doing that early? I'll tell you what you'd be doing that early, honey child. If you like your mama, you'd be out there flooding up a storm. You'd be straightening out your pantyhose and you'd stick your leg up in the air like that and see if you could have somebody look at you uh, straightening your pantyhose. Then you'd kind of wave that perfume. You'd go over there and kind of wave that perfume a little bit in somebody's face. And then you'd flirt with them. You'd flirt with them. I... I'm a great flutter, and I love how to flirt. I'm a big girl. I'm a big girl now. I can wear big girl hats, and I can put makeup on. And, oh, honey child, if I, I could tell you stories and make your hair curl. Yes, sir. I was, a, I was, a, I was a, the most popular girl in high school, and I was the most popular girl in all the jobs I had, the secretarial jobs, honey child. I was I was so well liked and so well respected. I'd get that to that guy behind the water cooler and I teach him a thing or two and then we go into the dark room, you know, and see what develops. You know what I mean, her child? <laughs> I'm on Highway 99, I got a nose ring on, baby, I got a nose ring on, baby, I'm waiting for a, a car to come by, I've got my thumb stuck out, I've got my ring in my nose, I've got my thumb stuck out, now help and get a ride to Arizona, I'm just waiting for a car, I'm waiting for your car, and if a coupe girl pulls up in the car I'm not gonna go if I I don't wanna go but I might have to go if it's a cute girl I might have to go and sit by beside her and I'm gonna yes sir, I'm gonna mm, sweet I'm gonna talk sweet nothings in a hill and a child I'm gonna do it all I'm gonna wow well, I don't know that if the world can uh, fall apart and go off the edge of the world. Uh, some people think it's a flat earth. I think people that think it's a flat earth are full of shit. If it's a flat earth, how come nobody's ever fall off the earth, huh? How come nobody's ever fall out the flat earth? Those people are full of crap. Oh, I'm telling you, the President Trump. President Trump is the best president of the United States in America. He's always been the best president of the United States. I can't believe that you Democrats are so moronish. You people are just a low-life scum of the earth. I hope that when you die, I hope that people up there, the angels of the world and the heavens, they take you in the corner and they just walloped and beat the living right out of you. And then they, after they threw beating you with a stick because you're so stupid, then they're going to throw you, cast you into hell. Yes, sir, wait, right where you belong. You belong in hell. You belong in hell. I've seriously, you uh, you belong straight to hell. You you make up stories about Donald Trump. He's the best president, the best president, I tell you that we've ever had. Oh, honey child, if I could get in a room with President Trump just once, oh, he would leave his he would leave his wife for wife, lucky wife number three. Yes, oh, honey child, I waited a lifetime for this opportunity to just. Hug him, put my loving arms around Donald Trump. Yes, and I think he's the president, and I can be the loving first lady. Yes, I can be the first lady of the world. Yes, sir.